Magnificent Muslims. Ibn al Haytham, the father of optics. Abu Ali al Hassan ibn al Haytham, also known as al Hazan, was born in Basra in present day Iraq in 965. He was a pioneering mathematician, philosopher, and scientific thinker born during the Golden Age of Islam, a period of about 800 years that saw advancement in science, technology, and math around the world. He moved to Egypt during the Fatimid Empire, where he conducted experiments and studies in optics, astronomy, arithmetic, geometry, and physics. He developed the methodology of scientific investigation and used experiments to verify a theory or hypothesis, which later became known as the modern scientific method, which European scholars used 200 years later. He wrote 96 books, and his most famous, The Book of Optics, was translated to Latin, Kitab al-Manazir. It became the basis of optics in the West until the 17th century. Europeans such as Leonardo da Vinci learned from this book. al hatham also made observations about how light enters a dark room and major breakthroughs in understanding vision and light. His dark room later became the Camera Obscura, he experimented with a pinhole camera. After noticing that light coming from a tiny hole projected an image on the opposite wall of the room, he confirmed that light travels in a straight line. He also studied how light moves using lenses and a mirror and studied reflection and refraction. He studied what eyes are made of and named the most important parts of the eye and wrote new ideas about light and vision. He is called the father of optics. Ibn al Haytham passed away in Cairo, Egypt in 1040 when he was 75 years old. Follow for more.